Yes, hello. Is it audible? Yes. yes Is it audible now? Yes, ma'am. You were able to hear the voice uh, earlier from the beginning? Yes or no? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Then I uh, will discuss from the beginning. I, I was thinking that you people are able to hear me. Okay. Because it was showing uh, the levels of my audio uh, in my place. Okay. Okay. No problem. Well, uh, hmm. it, it is not a problem. We have only one and the other is also traditional folk form. I will share the screen. We'll discuss again. Don't worry. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, the brief history. Uh, so today we are dis we are discussing about the history of journalism in Telangana and uh, Andhra Pradesh. So the early newspapers which were started in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh were started by missionaries, and they used to propagate the religious propaganda. And the first Telugu journal we consider as a, a monthly. A paper that is called Satya Duta, which started publishing from Bellari in 1835, which printed uh, in Madras, and it is used to concentrate uh, mostly on propagating the gospel of Ch Christ, which means uh, which is uh, used to propagate the Christianity among the readers. And Dinavardhamani is a weekly which came out in 1861, and uh, later on, after publishing ten years, it was seized. Many Telugu journals which were started uh, to counterattack the missionary propaganda which started by Satya Dutta, among the newspapers which started to counterattack the missionary propaganda was Tattva Bodhini, which started publishing from 1864 onwards from Madras by the Veda Samaj. Okay. It, was, it became uh, very popular after publishing uh, a series of uh, Rig Veda. Then... Uh, in the year 1985, Kandukuri Vireshi Lingam Pandulu, a great social reformer and scholar, he started uh, Vivekavadini newspaper from, uh, he started publishing Vivekavadini from Rajamandri as a weekly. It was devoted to language reform and education. And he is also considered as the father of Telugu journalism. Kandukuri Vireshi Lingam Pandulu dominated the social and cultural life of Telugu country in the latter half of the 19th century. He also started a magazine called Hasya Vardini, which is devoted to humor and another weekly Satya Vardini and Sati Hita Bodhini. Both the newspapers were devoted exclusively to women readers. Uh, at the same time, uh, Venkata Ratnam Pantulu also brought out uh, another uh, weekly called Andhra Bhasha Sanjeevini to oppose the reformist school, which was represented by the Kandukuri Vireshya Lingam Pantulu. Uh, the first news weekly, Andhra Prakashika, which was started by AP Father Sarathi Nayudu, which started publishing from 1885 onwards uh, as a supporter of the National Congress. Then uh, another uh, newspaper uh, called uh, Shishikala, which started publishing from 1894 onwards by Gattupali Sesacharyulu. Uh, it was the first weekly to campaign for the unification of Telugu speaking areas. Another uh, publication, uh, Krishna Patrika, which was started uh, publishing uh, to uh, as an instrument of political education by veteran Congress leader Konda Venkata Payagaru in Guntur from 1902 onwards uh, on behalf of the Krishna District Association. And Murturi Krishna Rao, he took over the charge of Krishna Patrika in 1907 and it played a remarkable role in the freedom battle. Uh, then we have uh, Andhra Pratrika, Andhra Pratrika, which uh, has a unique place in the history of Telugu journalism. It was uh, started as a weekly in Bombay in the year 1908. It was started by uh, K. Nageshwar Rao Pantulu. Uh, a notable editor uh, in the early days uh, was uh, Sheshagiri Rao, who strove hard to put the Patrika firmly on its feet and make it truly the voice of Telugu nationalism. After his death, again, Nageshwara Rao took over the editorship himself and he continued until 1938. 
and he was a devoted uh, follower of Mahatma Gandhi. When Andhra province was formed after the reorganization of the states, the Patrika shifted to Vijayawada and it is also published from Hyderabad. There were many obstacles uh, for the growth of press in Hyderabad the state uh, impact of because of uh, the education which was offered uh, during that time in Urdu language. The impact of the education had uh, in Andhra as part of the Madras presidency was lacking in Hyderabad uh, because of uh, it was ruled by uh, the Nizams. This was an important reason for the delayed awakening in Telangana. Another important uh, obstacle was the discouragement given to the language of the majority, uh, the Telugu language. Urdu, or as it was an official language and it was spoken by a small sector and the majority, that was 86% of the population, they used to speak uh, in Telugu, Marathi and Canada. The Nizam was keen on evolving an uh, educational policy which was directed at uh, replacing the local languages by Urdu and officially Urdu was, uh, uh, Urdu was uh, given as a language to instruct uh, in uh, schools and colleges. The state-aided education was given only through uh, Urdu or English. Telugu journalism had a late start in Telangana region as late as from uh, 1913 onwards. Uh, Hita Bodhini, uh, it, uh, which was edited by Srinivasa Sharma, was the earliest Telugu weekly, which was published from Mahbubnagar. And uh, Telugu journals, uh, which used to, uh, which had faced uh, a lot of uh, uh, problems uh, during the Nizam's role in Telangana state. In 1920s, two weeklies were started in Telangana. One was uh, Tenugu Patrika uh, from Inugurti and the other one is Nilagiri Patrika from Nalgonda. And both of them were seized uh, after 1926. Saravaram Prataparedi founded the Golakonda Patrika in the year 1925 as a weekly and after some time it became a daily and served the Telangana people well for a number of years. After Prataparedi, N. Narottamaredi, he became the editor of Golakonda Patrika. In the year 1927, Sujata, a cultural mantri also was started and continued for some time. Telugu Talli, Vibhuti, Divyavani, Andhra Kesari, and Andhra, Andhra Budayam were some of the more notable monthlies and weeklies which were used to publish from Hyderabad. In 1945, Misan, a Telugu daily, was founded under the editorial uh, editorship of Adavi Bapuraju. He was a poet and painter. The Telangana was another uh, another daily which was started publishing from Telangana was Bokopat started by Bokopatnam Ramanujachari. Uh, uh, the formation of Andhra state uh, in 1953 gave a fillip to Telugu journalism. Four dailies which were started at the same time were Andhra Janata which started from publishing from Hyderabad, Andhra Bhumi, Rajamandri, uh, then uh, Rajamandri Samacharam, uh, which started publishing from Rajamandri, and Vishalandra, which started publishing from Vijayawada. In 1974, a, a new Telugu daily, as you already know, well-known uh, Telugu newspaper called Inadu, which uh, was launched by Cherukuri Ramoji Rao, who is the founder of uh, Inadu daily, which started publishing from 1974 and which created a sensation uh, in the record of the Telugu journalism. During the Telangana movement, again, there was a, a newspaper called uh, Namaste Telangana was also launched after the formation of Telangana state. Nava Telangana, which uh, started uh, publishing 2004, uh, 14. Mana Telangana also started from 2014, which uh, publishing from Telangana state. 
uh, during the nizam's rule the telugu press was under the control of the british government and uh, the nizam government did not allow even private institutions to impart education uh, in the telugu language uh, then the people of telangana uh, state were denied the most elementary rights of citizens though the nizams announced the formation of executive and legislative council in 1919 with sir ali imam as the president the people did not enjoy the civil liberties and the andhra janasangham which was formed in 1922 aimed at socio economic cultural revival of people of telangana they made great efforts to open the uh, uh, telugu schools libraries publish telugu books and promote historical research a uh, latter half of the 19th century it was characterized by rigorous uh, vigorous activity through the climate uh, which was not which was conducive to its growth a number of newspapers and journals which started in uh, urdu language persian telugu marathi english and they started uh, publishing from hyderabad uh, telangana state uh, then uh, some of the uh, newspapers were uh, only uh, celebrated uh, on the occasion of mir my bob ali khan and ceased publication soon after so or during the nizam's rule the press was not so flourished and uh, because of the ruling of the nizams some of the restrictions which were made uh, on the publications uh, in telangana were they were not uh, the the publication should not write against the british or the nizams and the urdu newspapers like uh, shaukatul isman refused to sign agreement uh, uh, and commented upon it very strong language with the result that it was uh, suppressed so whenever the newspaper started publishing from uh, uh, here against the nizams or the british government etc they used to the nizams used to suppress the publication and they used to cease the publications the first telugu journal which was started in 1912 by srinivasa sharma from mahbub nagar it was called as hita bodini he also started a, a printing press called uh, San- sarojini vilas but uh, later on uh, it could not sustain and uh, later it was closed down after publishing two years in 1917 swami venkat rao of the divine society started a monthly journal called andhra mat from secunderabad but even that could not survive uh, beyond 8 months a series of telugu publications began uh, from 1920s onwards but uh, they also could not survive due to the harassment uh, by the government especially the publication those who raised voice uh, in protest against the autocratic rule of the government or demanded more freedom of uh, speech uh, and expression at that point of time uh, some of the weeklies which were uh, weeklies and journals which were started at that time uh, are uh, the first one is 1920 sita ram sita ram chandra rao and ragava ranga rao they started a weekly called telugu patrika Yes, Narasimha Rao started a weekly in 1920 that called as Nilagiri, which started publishing from Nalgonda district. Uh, in 1920, a newspaper called Andhra Bhujam also started in 1923. Saiva Pracharya Nijam, uh, which was started publishing from Varangal in 1925. Sri Bhaskar started a bi-weekly from Sikindrabad that uh, was called as Nedu. In 1925, Bhagya Reddy started a fortnightly called Bhagya Nagar Patrika. In 1925, Golconda Patrika was started by Suravaram Pratap Reddy. In 1927, P. N. Sharma started a newspaper called Sujata. In 1934, D. Sharma started a monthly uh, newspaper from Sikindrabad. It called Deccan Kesari. Uh, Sri Mati R. Satya. Satyavati Devi started a monthly uh, which started publishing from Sikandrabha that is called uh, Tenugu Thalli. Uh, Veerabhadra Sharma started another monthly 
which is uh, started publishing from Sikindrava that is called Vibhuti. In 1945, also saw the birth of uh, two Telugu dailies, namely Telangana and Mizan. The Telangana was financed by Rajagopal Modaliar and Mizan was uh, published by Kolkata Wala. The Telangana was uh, edited by a uh, journalist B. R. Chari and Mizan was uh, edited by uh, Man of Letters, we call. Uh, the person is Adavi Bapi Raju and uh, D. Ramanujarao started a monthly called Shobha from Varangal. This was stopped during the Razakar movement and it was revived again in the year 1950s. Uh, English newspapers in Telangana in the year 1923, the Hindu uh, published a series of articles by the famous journalist Nihal Singh under the caption Hyderabad today, and even while uh, praising the Nizam for his efforts at social reform and educational progress, he blamed him for a personal role. This greatly uh, enra enraged the Nizam, and he banned the circulation of the paper for two years. But the matter published in this paper was made use of by the Telugu journals like Krishna Patrika. They touched on various topics like economic problems, highlighting the heavy taxation system during the uh, uh, Nizam's rule, and also pointed uh, to the communal character engulfing the Nizam government, which led to the gross neglect of Hindus under his rule. The New India, another English daily, published the proceedings of Hyderabad state uh, in 1926. Uh, uh, English newspapers like uh, Hyderabad Bulletin, Deccan Chronicle, Daily News uh, had an appeal to the enlightened section uh, of educated community. Therefore, they were uniformly balanced in their views uh, by projecting the news. These papers always resorted to a middle course between timidity and aggressiveness. The policy of Nizam's government was such that the local newspapers were allowed to criticize the affairs related to the government of India in a very frank manner. When India gained independence, the Nizam pompously declared that he would remain independent of the Indian Union, but the state Congress launched Join India movement again and the press helped in great measure to highlight the political implications of the Nizam's decision and evoke a response from different sections in Hyderabad. Uh, when it comes to the Urdu newspapers in Telangana, the Kurshid e Deccan was the first newspaper started publishing from Hyderabad, uh, which started publishing uh, from the year 1883. Yivom O Amal was the third daily, which started uh, by Mohibi Hussein in the year 1902. Abdul Rahman Ray published Mansoor, a, uh, a newspaper in the year 1929, and later he also published Wakhat, another newspaper. In 1930, Ahmadullah Khadri started a publication called Sultanat. Then Khazi Abdul Ghaffar started Payam on another news, Urdu newspaper in 1935. Uh, during the Madras presidency, uh, as Andhra elsewhere in India, journalism in initial stages while uh, was highly risky, but uh, many newspapers were started in uh, United Andhra Pradesh. Uh, there were other uh, newspapers uh, like uh, Vritantini. We considered it uh, uh, the next newspaper after the Satya Duta, which uh, was published, uh, the first uh, newspaper in Telugu language. Vritantini was a Telugu monthly. It uh, in classical Telugu. It finds mention of, uh, which was started publishing from 1842. But uh, in some of the books, it mentioned. 
as Vrutandi was the first newspaper published uh, in Telugu language. Uh, Viveka Vardini, uh, we have already discussed, Viveka Vardini was started publishing from 1874 October by the Kandukuri Vivideshya Lingam Pantulu. It was started publishing uh, as the monthly journal from Rajamandri. Uh, after that, uh, it was closed down uh, in the year 1890. Then uh, also Kandukuri Lingam Panturu, he started publishing uh, another journal called Satya Samvardini in the year 1891 and Satya Vadini in the year 1905 and carried his uh, profession. Deshabhimani published from Bezawada as a weekly in the year uh, 1896. It, the editor of the Deshabhimani was Deva Guptam Sesha, Sesha Chalapati. Uh, Krishna Patrika, the another newspaper which uh, Krishna Patrika started as a weekly, from, started publishing from 1902 onwards. It was uh, started by Konda Venkata Paya and Dasunara and Rav. They were the first editors of this Krishna Patrika and later Mutnuri Krishna Rao, he, uh, he succeeded Konda Vekanta Payagaru from 1907 onwards. And uh, Swarajya, another newspaper, this uh, came out uh, in the year 1908 from Bezavada under the editorship of Gadi Cherla Harisar Muttava, Harisar Muttama Rao. Sharada was uh, another high class monthly which was launched by Kota Sri Rama Shastri, which was founded in Masuli Patnam. Uh, generally, it was also called as Masuli Patnam in the year 1922. Patabi Sita Ramaya, uh, he also started a newspaper called Janma Bhumi in English. It, uh, it started publishing as a weekly from 1919 onwards. Uh, then English daily Swarajya, uh, which started uh, publishing uh, then both uh, these newspapers, British owned newspaper at that point also started publishing uh, from, they started publishing Madras Mail and also the Hindu also started uh, in Telangana. Eminent uh, journalists, if you see uh, in the Telugu uh, eminent journalists, Kan Kashi Naduni Nageshwar Rao. Kashi Naduni Nageshwar Rao uh, was uh, the one who started Andhra Patrika on August 9th, 1909. Uh, he started uh, Andhra Patrika as a weekly and published it from Bombay. He also brought out uh, annual supplements with plenty of illustrations and special articles of literary, cultural, political interest. He shifted his weekly to Madras uh, from April 1st, 1914. Nageshwar Rao also started uh, another monthly called uh, Bharati in December 1923. It is an uh, illustrated magazine mainly, which is devoted to literature, art, and culture, and also history. Kandukuri Vireshya Lingam Pandalu, Rai Bahadur uh, Kandukuri Vireshya Lingam Pandalu, he started uh, publishing a uh, Telugu uh, newspaper called Viveka Vadini, which is completely dedicated to social reform and language reform. Uh, Kandukuri Vireshya Lingam Pandalu also uh, prominent social reformer who advocated editing of uh, eradication of uh, child marriages, caste system, and prostitution uh, in Telugu states. Uh, he also propagated rehabilitation of fallen women. Widow remarriage and other things were also propagated in these uh, newspapers. Uh, Pantulu's journals are credited with development of popular uh, Telugu prose. Then Pantalo also founded three other journals, uh, Sahiti Hita Bodhini. This is uh, to advocate women and Hase Samvardini, which is a promoter of laugh, humor, etc. And 
satyavadini to protect the truth advocate of truth these are the three newspapers along with viveka vardhini which were started by the kandukuri veerashalingam pandulu kandukuri veerashalingam pandulu is also considered as the father of uh, reassonance movement of andhra devagupta sesha chalarao uh devagupta sesha chalara started uh, deshabhimani the first uh, as a fortnightly then he started it as the weekly then bi weekly finally it was uh, became as a weekly newspaper uh mutnuri krishna rao uh mutnuri krishna rao started uh, krishna patrika uh, from 190 sorry uh, he is the editor of the krishna patrika konda venkata uh, konda venkata paya and Vas vasunarayan rao they started the newspaper called uh, krishna patrika it started publishing from february 2 1902 venkata paya used to edit uh, the krishna patrika till uh, 1905 after him potnuri krishna rao he took over the charge as the editor of the krishna patrika uh a uh, press after the formation of the telangana state after the formation of the telangana state many changes uh, were came into existence in print and electronic media uh, like uh, some of the news channels like etv which started uh, its bro their broadcasting uh, like uh, etv telangana and etv andhra pradesh even tv uh, night a telangana channel jay telangana uh, then uh, dd adagiri it's uh, it is operating uh, it is continued to operate uh, from the ramathapur uh, doordarshan office the channel also highlights the uh, telugu telangana culture and the dialect telangana state uh, press academy was established with after uh, the formation of the telangana state later the government the telangana government changed the nomenclature of the press academy to media academy of telangana state uh, then after the formation two major newspapers which were launched in telangana are mana telangana and nava telangana mana telangana is a seed of vishalandra telugu newspaper and nava telangana is the seed of praja shakti newspaper english newspaper like telangana today was launched uh, in the year 19 uh, in the year 2016 there are many other small newspapers launched with the title of telangana all the leading telugu newspapers giving separate editions to telangana and andhra pradesh this is the present status of telangana uh, the press in telangana okay so just uh, remember the prominent uh, persons who started the newspapers like kashinaduni nageshwar rao kandukuri veerashalingam uh, pantulu then uh, shesha chala rao he started the deshabhimani newspaper and mutnuri krishna rao even though he uh, did not start a newspaper but he edited a newspaper called krishna patrika for a long time and after the konda venkata paya garu uh, he became the editor of uh, the newspaper then uh, just remember the prominent newspapers which started uh, urdu newspapers english newspaper so this is a list you can go to when they ask you to write about the history of uh, the press in telangana remember the names of the newspapers which started and the years who started and from where uh, the newspaper started publishing whether a newspaper is a daily or weekly most of the newspapers which started at that point of time are weeklies but later on uh, some of them are started as monthly and also they later started publishing as weekly and bi monthly and some of them became uh, daily newspapers also okay uh, during the nizam's rule 
the press was under the control of the nizams generally the press was not uh, allowed to publish anything uh, relates to which criticizes the nizams rule and also even the uh, which is against the british government and during the nizams rule uh, as uh, urdu and uh, english was a medium of education uh, they suppressed the telugu language and uh, its culture uh, propagating the uh, telugu and also the uh, they suppressed the telugu press in telangana state and one of the important uh, newspapers uh, among uh, the newspapers in telangana is uh, inadu and inadu started uh, publishing from 1974 onwards by cherukuri ramojirao or dramojirao who is also the owner of etv group then <coughs> etv also uh, inadu group also started publishing the district editions later on other newspapers also started publishing the district newspapers so here uh, you also remember uh, the prominent uh, newspapers like andhra patrika sadhikita bodhini vivekavardini other newspapers like krishna patrika uh, even uh, the suravaram pratap reddy garu who he started uh, the newspapers okay so in the previous class we have discussed about the uh, present status of press in uh, india those figures also you have to remember when they ask you to write about uh, even the press in telangana and ap you have to mention the uh, figures relates to that uh, the regional language press we have uh, yesterday discussed about the status like uh, the telangana uh, inadu stands first uh, among the high uh, newspapers which have highest readership followed by sakshi andhra jyoti and namaste telangana in when it comes to the ap even in ap inadu stands first among the largest read newspapers uh, telugu language uh, newspaper followed by sakshi and andhra jyoti and uh, when it comes to the circulation figures again inadu stands first among the telugu newspapers which is having more circulation okay yes i am stop sharing my content here just read the history is yes, how many are you there sudha ka durga hmm. do you have any doubts here so uh, there is no need uh, i think we can't explain anything whatever uh, is there as part of the history you have to read the history and uh, Uh, for your exams also you have to read the same thing if it is a concept we can explain uh, something but uh, as uh, it is history you have to remember the dates and the persons who started the newspapers etc uh yes farooq uh, durga sharan you have any doubts no ma'am okay we are left with only one uh, unit i believe that is relates to the uh, traditional folk media yes the rest of the things we have almost completed everything from unit 1 to the last i think we have not had discussed the unit uh, i believe that is 5 or so that is relates to the traditional folk media just remember the names of the telugu traditional folk forms which are uh, started by differences like uh, in telangana what we have bura katha hari katha etc uh, there are other folk forms like uh, nautanki ras leela ram leela etc all these folk forms uh, are performed in different states so different states have their own uh, traditional folk forms so remember the folk forms then what is the importance of folk media in promoting uh, social education or promoting development in the country uh, development uh, in promotion of the cultural heritage of india etc so in uh, that way you have to write if they ask you to write about uh, the uh, 
role of folk media in uh, in a society etc okay yes uh, the rest of the units uh, are you we have already done with you have any doubts in those uh, units we have already discussed yes i think uh, today is uh, our last class i believe if you want to go back uh, anyway uh, these uh, classes are live streaming you might have the previous classes also you can just go back uh, search for the ma journalism uh, brao also there also we must have taken uh, some of the classes so you can go back and uh, watch those uh, uh, video lessons also on youtube if you have doubts relates to the topics we have discussed okay yes no doubts you have no doubts ma'am okay shall i will leave uh, the session here thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am um, right if you have any doubts already you have a group no whatsapp group is there you can share uh, there and we can discuss or i may clarify your doubts i am also there in your group hmm okay ma'am okay then ma okay i'm leaving the session thank you thank you ma'am right bye the car okay he sharing some i am not an admin uh, just ask uh, your friends to add your admin i am not the admin Does somebody know the uh, if I am there as admin. Where is your group? I am also an admin. I will add. Wait. Eight four. Yes. Okay, I'm leaving the session. Right. Thank you. Okay, so I'll share. Okay, people can join with that. Hello. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, bye. All the best. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Sorry, sorry.